Okay, we've tested our Simmons rangefinder, and here it is against my Leica Desto. Uh, well, I calculate that out. It comes to uh, 57.83 yards, and this came up to 58. And he said, of course, this thing doesn't do fractions or decimals. So, one thing, it does power down very quickly. So, if I run outside and take a shot, by the time I get back in here, uh, it's it's already powered down. And I guess that'll make the uh, make this thing last longer. Anyway, here's what my uh, disto came up with. And so, so far, at least at modest ranges, uh, this thing seems to be right on the money. I've shot a couple of these, and it all seems to be within plus or minus a yard, which is damn sure going to be accurate enough for your uh, bow, pistol, or rifle. I think modest ranges, like 50 yards, probably don't need to worry about it. But I tell you what, it's uh, a lot of that's uh, perception. Uh, we had a gun range inside of a tree row, and everybody swore that that was 400 yards, and it wasn't. It was only 100, but the, having everything in that tree row and looking at the target frame way down there, uh, you know, it would really throw your perception off. Anyway, uh, that's our first quick test of the Simmons Tilt Intelligence 600 rangefinder. And so far I'm happy and I'm going to go out and find me a little lanyard to put on there. And this I like okay, but I think I'm going to take a shot. I got some uh, Kydex. And I'm going to take a shot at making a uh, case for this. It's electronic, so I'm not sure how much of that heat I can, and it's plastic. I'm not sure how much heat I can expose this to. Might be able to insulate it with a little bit of tape or something, or I might have to make a model. In any case, we're going to give it a shot.